Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make these macrame fish and they look like this. So a little macrame fish like this, you can use them as they are or use them for jewelry, that's up to you. But if you want to learn how to make them, then keep watching. So these are the things that I'm going to use. Now the cord that I'm working with here is one millimeter satin cord and you can obviously use different types of cord and thread. This is just what I'm going to be demonstrating with and it's a blue color. And then for the beads, for the eyes, I'm using some 4mm rounds, metal spacer beads. And just make sure that whatever you're using, the cord will go through the hole in your bead. So let's get materials together and let's get started. So what we need to do is cut a cord. And what I have here is 10 lengths of about 50cm each of my 1mm satin cord. So what I'm going to do is then get one length first and then I'm going to fold that in half so the ends meet down here. And then I'm just going to tie a simple overhand knot in this. This is just temporary. And just so you have some space up here. Because then I'm just going to attach this to my board. Because we're going to then use this to attach all the other cords to. So I'm just going to go through the loop here to kind of get it out in a bit of tension. And then just tighten it down to my board. So just like this. And then I'm going to go through all the other cords one at a time and then attach them to this by using the lax head knot. Now if you're not too familiar with basic macrame knots, I do have a video that shows how to do a few basic ones. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description box so that might be helpful. But otherwise what we're going to do is take our first cord and then again put the ends together. Because we need to find roughly about the middle. That's up here where my loop is. I'm holding with my finger. And then keep hold of that loop and we need to put that loop underneath the two, or the one cord, with the two lengths here on the board and then take the loop back around the top put your fingers through and pull the ends through that loop and then attach that, tighten it, just like that and that's your first one attached and then you just want to go through the rest of your cords one by one and do the exact same thing until you have all your lengths attached to this base cord so I've now attached all my nine cords here so what we can do is take it off the board and then I'm just going to undo this knot again because it was temporary and we're done with that now this was just to be able to attach it to the board so just undo this and then what we need to do is get this into a circle so the loop that we have here for the original cord that we attached to the board I'm going to take the ends of that same cord that's running through all these and pull through and then just keep hold of all my lax head knots here and then I start to pull and then you'll see it goes into a circle just like this and then we have that here so what we need to do now is split up all the cords now what I like to make sure of is that the one that you just connected the whole circle together that, that kind of stays in the middle of one side so I use it as a guideline take one on each side and then another one so we have five here on one side and then the rest that's five of the original cords. They've always each one has turned into two lengths now that we're going to work with. But five of the original cords, so that makes ten lengths. And then I'm going to place it back on my board and then start to work with it again. So pin it back in, because it makes it a bit easier to work with. And then I'm going to work on one side at a time. I'm going to do the same thing. So what we're basically going to be making now is the body of the fish. So I'm going to start with my two center ones on this one. So just focus on these ten lengths of cord first. The two middle ones, they're naturally coming out to each their own side. So what you want to do is cross them over. I cross my right one over my left one. You can do it the other way around. That's completely fine. And then we need to do a double half hitch. So I take the one that's coming on the bottom, so that came from the left side, around my finger and through the loop. Like that and then once more to make it a double half hitch so just like that and then we move on to the next one so the very next cord here from the left side bring it underneath and then a double half hitch with that one as well round your finger and through the loop and what you want to notice is that I'm coming out at an angle so I'm not doing a straight row that way I'm coming out like this and then for the next one here, this one is actually the one I want to attach my eye to. So I'm going to put my bead onto that cord before I use it to make a double half hitch. 
and let it drop all the way down and then bring that back underneath the holding cord that we've been using throughout the row so far and then do a double half hitch with that just like the other ones continuing the row out at the same angle and then this is going to be the eye of the fish moving on to the next one always grab the very next cord do a double half hitch so just like that and now they're kind of curving around the other outside of the eye and the very last one on this side a double half hitch again just like that so that's the first side here so what we need to do is move over to the other side and also build a row of knots so we can then put these to the side for now and then you want to grab the very first one you used as your working cord in this row that's now going to be the holding cord for this side so grab the very next one comes underneath that holding cord and then a double half hitch and then this row you want to make sure it comes out at an angle as well so the angle you're going to get between the two rows here is going to be about 90 degrees and then the very next one here is the one we need to put the eye onto so again add your bead to that cord and let it drop all the way down there and then bring it underneath your holding cord so just like this and then make your double half hitch to kind of cage that bead in place and then continue the row so just like that and then building on the outside of the eye just like the other side grabbing the very next cord every time continue in that same angle on the row until we used up all the cords so just like this so now to keep building on it we need to build the rest of the body as well so you want to put the ones you just used to the side out to the side here except for the very first one the very first one in your working cords on this side needs to then come over to this way and be the holding cord for the next row so that comes over all the others here and then you grab the very first one so the two in the middle basically the right one crosses over the left one and then you just do a double half hitch so you get your reverse six and then build a new row here and make sure that that row is right underneath the other one on this side as close as they can be and then next cord a double half hitch again and the very next one and continue till you used up all the working cords from the previous row like that and the very last one here a double half hitch again so just like this and don't grab the holding cord from the previous row just leave that out to the side for now and then back to the other side we basically need to do the same thing grab the very first working cord from the row that you just made that's coming across the others here then grab the very next one that's coming underneath from this side the right side and then do your double half hitch to then build a row out to this side and always grab the very next cord so we're now gradually building up the body here and the last one and remember to leave out the holding cord from the previous row so moving on to the next row again leave out the last two and go in and grab the very first one of the working cords the two middle ones, the left one crosses over the right one sorry the right one crosses over the left one just like the other rows do exactly the same thing and then do your double half hitch to build up your next row here and the very next cord and the very last one here because as you can see as well we're getting outward now the rows are getting smaller and smaller and just leave all the holding cords to the side go in and grab the very first working cord go to the other side and start building that row as well so we only have a few cords now to work with like that and leave the holding cords out to the side go back into the middle your right one comes over your left one and do a double half hitch for the next row and the last one in this row as you can see we only got two cords in this one back to the other side 
a double half hitch with a single working cord you got left there. And then you have the two left in the middle. Do the same thing as we're starting a new row, cross the right one over the left one, and just do a double half hitch to build your very last row there, just of one single knot. So just like this. So we've ended up with a bit of a square here, and where the eyes are placed there, and this in here is going to end up being the mouth. So this is going to be the main part of your body. So what we need to do now is we've made this side, we need to take it off, and then basically flip it around here, and then do the exact same thing with the cords on the other side. The only difference is that you don't want to add the eyes into this one, because this is obviously going to be the back of the fish, and they've only got one set of eyes, like the rest of us. So we now want to pin this back in, so it's easier to work with. And we're just going to basically be repeating the exact same thing without the eyes. So just like this, go back to the middle ones. And this was the side where you had them ones that attached the whole circle together. So those are actually the two in the middle. And you just cross them over and start again, doing the exact same thing. Building up your rows at an angle, just like we did on here, just without adding the eyes. So just do this, and then I'll show you the next step. So now that we made the other side in the same way here, just leaving out the eyes, we can then take it off again, because then it's time to put the two parts of the body together. So what I just like to do is kind of keep the side with the eyes upward, and then we're going to fold this over, so the two sides lie on top of each other like this, and then this is going to be the mouth, and then what we need to do is work on the sides here, just to make the fins and then the tails as well, but also to connect the two parts together, so it becomes one solid piece. So just fold it together, and then place it so you're happy with how it sits, and then we can put it back on the board, go and just pin it in again. And what we actually need to do is work on one side at a time. So you might want to just pin it so you find it a bit easier working on that one side first, because then we'll move over to the other side afterwards. So what we need to do is use all these ends to both connect it and then also create the fin. So what you'll find is that we have 10 lengths of cord now on each side. Just work with the one first. And you kind of have five from the top layer here on top of another five on the bottom layer. So just try and kind of make sure that you keep an eye on that, which ones are from the top and which ones are from the bottom. So what we need to do is start from the very inner side here, further towards the eye. And I'm actually going to grab the very inner one, but from the bottom level there. So from the body underneath. And then I'm going to bring that across, and then I'm going to take the first one from the top layer and bring below that, and then I'm going to do a double half hitch with them, so around your finger and through the loop to get your six, and then just tighten this all the way down, around your finger and through the loop, so just like this, all the way down like that. And then as for the next one, we just need to separate the cords out again. So you want to grab the very, find the very next one on the top layer, and also the very next one on the bottom layer there, just so you know which ones they are, and kind of maybe keep them separate from the other ones. So what I'm going to do is then grab the holding cord that we used right from the beginning. It's still the holding cord that's going to go on top of that one, and this is the next cord from the top layer that I'm using now. So I'm going to do a double half hitch with that. So just like this, and then moving on to the next one, and this time I'm going to bring in that second cord from the bottom layer, so the equivalent to the one we just used, I'm just going to bring that in with it here. So now these two are going to both act as one holding cord, and then go into the next ones, grab the very next one from the top layer, And then I also grab the one from the bottom layer. So what we end up with now is actually these three. And then that one, the next one from the top layer, is the working cord. So we have three holding cords now. Because what we just need to do as we go along the body is collect all the working cords here. So we don't have so many free ones and loose ones. So do a double half hitch around all of them. All the way down, tighten it just like that. 
So now we're moving our way across here and we have these three that we've just used to make our double half hitches with. I'm going to put them to the side because those are the ones we're going to use for the fin as well. So keep moving backward here to gather up the rest of them and connect the piece together. So again, just look at where your cords are. So what I'm going to do is grab the very next one from the top. It's going to be the working cord. But before that, I want to just gather in the next one from the bottom as well. And then you can just do your double half hitch with that very next one from the top. So we're gradually adding in all the cords here as we go, except for those three. And just make your double half hitch, just like that. And then put this one in with the rest as the holding cord. And then we have two loose ones left. One from the top layer, which I'm going to use as the working cord. So the one last one from the bottom layer I'm going to bring in as well. And then from the top layer, the very last one there, I'm just going to do one last double half hitch. So just like this. So now all the cords are gathered down here, except for the ones for the fin. So what I just want to do now while I'm on this side before I move to the other one, I might as well just do the fin as well. So just put these to the side because we're just using these three. So you have one. That's the very first one. You want to bring that over the others. And then the others are your working cords. So you do a double half hitch with the first one. All the way down. So we're building a row here underneath the previous one. Grab the very next one. And do a double half hitch. Working your way back. So now we've run out of cords here because we don't want to put these into it. So we'll go back to the beginning again. Bring that over. And then do a double half hitch with that. Next working cord coming underneath, and then we'll bring the holding cord from the previous row into it as well. Make sure it comes underneath around your finger and through the loop, just like this. You can see it's slowly building up now. And I want to do one more row to make a bit more of a fin, so go back to the beginning again, bring that over, and do the next one with a double half hitch to build up the last row here. And you can see the fin is then coming out a bit of an angle from the body. And use the holding cord from the previous row as well, as well. Like that. So that's now the fin. So now we need to move to the other side and do the exact same thing. So just all the ones from that original side, just put them out of the way. Because we're just working on these ten ones over here. And pin it back in. And we're just going to be repeating the exact same steps, just with the cords on the other side here. So you start from the very beginning, separate your cords out. So start with the very first one, and also find the very first one from the bottom, which is then the one you want to bring over all the rest. And you just repeat the same steps like I said, just in reverse. So do this on that side as well and create your fin as well. And then once you've got all your cords down here, except for the ones for the fins, then I'll show you what to do next. So I've now worked my way all the way down and I've also made the fin here on this side. So what we have now is this. So we reach the same step on both sides. And all the cords down here, this is still open, as you can see. So that's what we need to close up now. We're done with the cords for the fins, because they're done now. So I'm just going to pin it back in because we just need to do the tail now basically so we can finish off the fish here so just pin it back in your board so we can work with it comfortably and then what you'll have is these two lengths are kind of separate out from the rest of them so they're a bit on their own so what we need to do is use those two to connect this open space together so the two sides so what I'm going to do with that is just make a simple square knot so bring one side over, and the other side goes over that and underneath all these cords in the middle and up through the loop on the other side. So a regular square knot and then tighten that all the way up here and then that tightens the two sides together and brings all the cords together as, as one almost. And then the other side to complete the square knot, so like this, and tighten that. So that's how we've now connected the two sides and all these cords are now ready to use for the tail.
So that's all we got left now and that's all the cords we're going to use. So all the rest up here, including the one you just did for the square knot, just put them out of the way because we're done with them. So the rest down here we need to separate them out to two equal amounts. So we need two groups of cords with equal amounts in each. So you want to make sure you just double check that, count them. I have six on this side, so we should also have six on this side. Yep, and they're kind of even split down the middle of that group there, because that's going to be a little bit more likely that we're going to then get them positioned in the right place. So what we need to do is work with one group at a time, so I'm just going to put the others out of the way. And the first one here, we need to kind of find the two that are kind of coming mostly towards the middle. So just find two that you think is going to fit nicely. And what I'm going to do is then cross them over again. So I take my right one over my left one and just kind of place the others out of the way so they're ready to use. And then again we're going to do double half hitches. So the one coming underneath from my left side, do a double half hitch and just tighten it all the way down here. And what we need to do is come out at a bit of an angle, like that. And then remember we have left the two cords on each side here underneath apart from the two we just used. So what I'm going to do is use the two, one of the two that we have left on that same side. So on the left side, double half hitch, I'm building a row of knots here to come a bit out to the side. So you're almost continuing the line from up here actually, the side of the fish. And the last one free on the left side, a double half hitch just like that and now you've used these so you go back to the first working cord so the very first two you crossed over were the one that's coming towards this side you, that's your holding cord now you have these two left loose that we left out of this group of cords forget about these ones for now and then you take the first one around your finger and through the loop and build another row of knots to come out the other way than the one you just did so in the opposite direction and the very last one, last free cord double half hitch just like that so we go back to the other side again so all the working cords here are kind of coming towards each other just split them out to the side that they're coming from so I'm going to go back to my left side and then the holding cord I'm going to bring back across the others so we're changing direction pretty much and then the first working cord that I'm running into, the last one I used on the actual row. I'm going to do a double half hitch with that, bring it all the way down, because we're basically continuing this knot, this row of knots here, but we're then changing direction. Another one to make it a double half hitch. So we're putting a bit of a curve in there. And then the last one from this side, the very next working cord, do a double half hitch with that as well. Just like that. So that's that side done, we need to do the same on the other side, the holding cord coming out that way, we need to come back the other way again. So we'll go across on top of the holding, on the working cords there, sorry. So the first working cord you run into, you do a double half hitch to continue the row, but having changed direction. And the very last one from that side, a double half hitch again. So like that, and now it's slowly starting to look like something. All we need to do is connect the two sides together now. So we take the two holding cords, one from each side, and I cross my right one over my left one. And to connect these two, we just do a double half hitch with the one coming underneath, just like this. And then that's one half of your tail done. And then you basically want to do the same on the other side here. So just leave all the cords for now because we're going to get rid of them when we're completely done. So what we have left, just place it back in your board to in a good position to work with. So what we have left are these six ones from the other group that we separated out before. So we want to do the exact same thing now. So find roughly the two middle ones and start crossing them over. Make sure you have three on each side. 
So across, you can do the same thing or you can do it the opposite way around, that's completely up to you. Depends the look you want. So just remember that the one coming underneath is your working cord and on top is your holding cord. So you just continue doing this, do the exact same thing that you just did, build a row of knots, first one kind of continuing the side of the fish on the opposite side. Grab your next cord from this side, out of the two you have left, and the last one, like that, that's the one side. Go back to the other side, you can see there's quite a few cords, but just try and keep them separated. And remember the group that you're working with. Go back to the very first working cord there, and then grab the first one out of the two you have left that you haven't used out of this group and do a double half hitch all the way down so now we're building the other row of knots going out the opposite direction so you get that almost 90 degree angle in there and the last one just like that so what we need to do now is for both rows change direction so come back in again so that means the holding cord you bring that just back the other way and across the two working cords. The first one you run into, you just do a double half hitch. And the very next one from that same side, once more. And then the other side here, do the exact same thing. Your holding cord, bring it back across and just focus on these three that you made this side with so far. Make your double half hitch and have your row of knots coming in the opposite direction now so you get that curve in there. The last one here, and then all that's left to do is connect the two sides. So, what I'm going to do is bring my left one over my right one this time, and the one that comes underneath is your working cord and connect the two sides together. So, this is the other half of your tail. So now you're basically left with your finished fish. All we have left is all these pieces of cord that we now need to get rid of. Now the way that you do that is going to depend a little bit on the material that you're using. But because this is satin cord, if you're using something like a nylon cord or something, you can do it in this way. Otherwise you could also use glue or something. But what I'm going to do is it's the same all the way around, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. I take a bit at a time, just a few cords at a time, in an area that I can easily access, cut them down so there's about a millimetre or so left and then take my lighter, obviously do this carefully because you're working with a flame but then I use this to just singe down those cords because then you can press them in so you get rid of the ends so you can't see them but it's also going to seal it in place so it's not going to come undone on you so it's not going to unravel so that's just what you want to do all over, cut off down to a short length and then just singe it down with your lighter. Obviously do it carefully. So once you've gotten rid of all your ends of cord, then this is basically a finished fish. So it looks like this. So it's quite nice in its own, it's quite cute. In my crammy fish here. And you can obviously use it just as it is, just as a bit of decoration. But you could also turn it into jewelry if you wanted to. You could use these, I think it'd be quite cute as earrings, or maybe as a pendant hanging like this. Or you could even use them as a bracelet, I think, connect them together and have a few going around your wrist. So obviously that's completely up to you. You can experiment a little bit with it and play with it a bit. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you very much for watching. Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this macrame spider and it's perfect for Halloween. And this is what it looks like. So this is the top of it. The face is upwards. You have the body, the head, all your legs, that freestanding and bent into shape. And then your eyes or fangs are what you want them to be. And then because of the knots that we make, we use to 